Hello everyone. Inspired by a friend of mine who is trying to learn uh, a bit more about Burmese grammar, uh, and also inspired by my new Judson Burmese to English, ignore the title that was an error, I think, on either my part or whoever originally uploaded the scan to the Internet Archive. Um, but I got that printed through lulu.com if anybody's interested in knowing how. I'm going to show using actually this example sentence uh, for the word ubama, which actually means example, funny that, how one can translate these things. So the first thing to do is to split the sentence up in constituents. And that can be kind of hard if you don't know how to split things up into a constituent. So what you do is you take particles or words that you know and split them up. Kamiya is one word. Akupyonide. So really, that can be one sentence or we can split it up as words. It'll make sense just to split this up into a constituent. So basically, every time you say de, just automatically put a line there. But here we go. A jaoya mia go. That's another one. And for some reason, this thing is running out of juice here. Yotia is another constituent. Nale de. That's another one. Lekana mabolo. Another one. Ubuma apsin a jawaya tensha ao pio bayazi. And so then we basically take all of our constituents and uh, in our head kind of translate them. And excuse me while I set this down for a moment to get a new pen. This video will be roughly edited, as you can tell. So, Kamiya is like a formal U. That's formal, not female, sorry. Um, now speaking that which that which is pretty much what this translates to there a jiao ya is subject a jiao means about a ya is thing so about thing subject mia plural subjects and then this is like a object marker. Yotiet means suddenly. Nalede, that which understand. This is a very loose translation just to get an idea. Lekana is a mark or a sign. Mabolo. Bo is to um, arise, or in this case, to appear. Lo means because. Because doesn't appear. Ubama, example, and I'm not really looking at the camera, I'm looking here. Apient means through. Ajaoya again is subject. Tin sha means to, um, to clarify. In this case, clarify. Ao means uh, in order to, in this case, Ao means in order to. Byo again is speak. 
Nambayazi is asking permission. Ask permission. So the next step, of course, is to look at this monster of a translation mess we got. You, that which now speaking subjects to suddenly Okay, so now we first have to understand how constituents work. Usually when people translate Burmese, they go backwards to forwards. We could do that and it would make sense. I don't like doing that. So I'm going to do it my way. Okay. Because... Because... Um... Because you are not showing a sign that you are suddenly showing a sign that you All right, so we got to look at this kind of because it can get confusing. I go beyond it at John Yam Yao. You showed it now that it like I'm like I'm a ball. So, um, it's suddenly showing, it's suddenly not showing that you understand these, uh, these subjects of that which I'm speaking. Um, because of that, allow me, through an example, to, um, allow me to show an example to clarify um, to clarify this yeah this is very hard um, allow me to speak so if we do do it from the back to the front which may end up looking better so allow me to speak in order to clarify the subject through an example because a sign of your understanding is suddenly not apparent to the subjects which I am now speaking, to which are now being spoken. So, um, if I wanted to simplify that in basic English, it's like, um, because it's apparent that you don't, that you suddenly don't understand what uh, these subjects that I'm talking about, allow me to clarify them through an example. This can somehow go through a theory that things are not exactly translatable. I can read this, I can make a gloss, which I just did, but when I try to translate it directly, to me, even, it doesn't make sense. I get confused, but I can read the Burmese, and I'll understand this. But these are some of the challenges that you have to go through when, um, when learning this language. So, have fun.